Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know your last. And I want to preface my question with how disappointed I am in the member opposite. The member speaks about being out of touch while we see, in my home province of Alberta, children and trans kids being attacked. And this member has the power and, cur and should have the courage to stand in this place yeah. and condemn that violence. Will the member now, I'll give him the opportunity, stand to protect trans rights in this country and stand against Conservative Premiers who, as we speak, are attacking children's rights. Will he have the courage to do it now? Yeah. The Honourable Member for Stormont, Dundas, South Langer. Uh, Mr. Speaker, not anything to do with the motion and the debate here at hand on the carbon tax, but I will say, I'm going to say, Mr. Speaker, that to question my, as a proud gay man, to question my integrity or my commitment on anything, I have been proud as an example to stand up to end the discriminatory blood ban that the NDP and Liberals propped up for far too long. I won't take any lessons from him trying to lecture me about anything. First of all, back to the matter at hand. Talk about out of touch and talk about aloof is that member from Edmonton. Temperatures in Edmonton reached minus 50 or 45 only about a week or two ago. And what that member wants to do, he doesn't like the convenience of it. He's going to have to go door knocking in the next election and explain to people in Edmonton why he wants to quadruple the carbon tax and their home heating bill on it that way when temperatures hit minus 45. The reason people are using food banks, the reason people are struggling, the reason housing costs, and the reason the economy is out of control is their constant tax increases that he keeps voting for. I know he doesn't like to talk about it, but it's about time he smartened up and did. Here, here, here. Order. Order. Let's all sit down for a second. It's okay. I haven't, call, I haven't called for questions yet. I'm just waiting for calm.